I have been a Notion user for more than two years and have also discovered and used AnyType in a few workflows for more than a year now. In this video, I will guide you through each note taking up's key features, pricing models, but also share five crucial differences I discovered in the past years when testing and using these apps. Let's dive in. Hey, it's good to have you here. If you haven't seen my videos yet, I am Aaron, the guy who helps you to find the perfect productivity apps so you don't have to spend time and money. As always, you can find the link to Notion and any type in the comments and the description. Also, you can subscribe to my newsletter below to get instant access to my list of best productivity tools with exclusive discounts. So, Notion is an all-in-one app that offers a centralized place to organize documents, notes, data, etc. I use it for writing YouTube scripts, keep track of my collaborations, collecting the learnings, preparing business plans, and essentially creating a knowledge base for my business. When using Notion, you can create separate workspaces. For example, you can have one for personal related stuffs and another one for work related projects. These workspaces include your pages. In these pages, you can easily add and organize different types of content called blocks. Simply hit the slash button and you can insert text, images, bookmarks, videos, code, Kanban board and more. When writing a text, you can add headings, subpages, bullet points and tables without touching your nose. To insert links or embed videos, you just simply need to copy the URL and Notion will do the rest. Notion also has a simple backlinking function which can be useful when your workspace grows and uh, you need to connect these pages with each other. To create a link, hit the opening bracket key twice, start typing the name of the page you want to link to and select the page when it shows up. This will automatically create a backlink at the top of your page. So if you click on the backlink, Notion will take you to the part of the text where the page was mentioned. In addition, it has some more useful tools for note taking. You can take notes with custom keywords, add teammates, set due dates, etc. You can access all your notes with your sidebar on the left. Notion allows you to visualize your projects, tasks in numerous formats from calendars to board views. The easiest way to create and add a project in Notion is using a template. One of the major advantages of Notion is that it offers more than 30,000 templates for many use cases, whether it is project, task or team management, note taking, SWOT analysis and more. So as you can see, besides note taking and knowledge management, Notion offers some decent project and task management features for you or your team. With these features, you can add statuses, assignees, due dates and collaborate with your team members. I wouldn't call it as a project management tool. However, it can be sufficient for small businesses which need only the essential project management tools. Furthermore, Notion offers a calendar app as well, which integrates your Google and Apple calendars into one place. And it has an email application as well, but I don't want to dive into this too much because most of you guys are interested only in the note-taking features. And when it comes to the note-taking features, we should mention the AI tools of Notion as well. On the bottom, you can access Notion AI Assistant feature that answers your questions, gives you summaries, translates your page, finds action items, and helps you improve your writing. This could help with saving time and organizing your content. Moreover, you can utilize Notion's AI note taker for Zoom, Teams, and Google Meet calls. Honestly, I use Fellow for my online meetings, but if you guys are interested in this specific feature, just let me know in the comments and I will shoot a video about it so you can find out whether this is the right AI note taker for you. In short, with this feature, Notion can transcribe and summarize your meetings so you can focus on the most crucial aspects of your course. Let's check the features of any type now. Let's jump right into the middle. Any type is a very complex app. If you haven't used it yet, imagine it as a combo of Notion and Obsidian. It provides a space that combines nodes and databases in one platform. You can create such workspaces for personal and work purposes. Compared to Notion, any type offers uh, more robust note-taking capabilities that you can use without internet connection on all your devices, including your mobile. Let's take a closer look how any type structures the content. First, you have to create your vault, which is an encrypted box stored on your device that holds your information. Once you have your vault, 
You can create your spaces. A space is a container for your objects, similar to a vault. It is encrypted, but unlike your vault, each space has unique access rights, so you can customize who can access them. Any type allows you to create multiple separate spaces, up to 50, each with its own objects, widget sidebar, and privacy settings. Sounds clear, right? I hope so, because after these points, everything will become tricky when using any type. Any type follows an object based note taking system, and you don't create pages like in Notion. In any type, everything you create is an object. They can be pages, notes, books, movies, audio, humans, everything. In short, the object is a generalizing term for everything that you create. Any type uses object types to categorize these objects. If we move our cursor here, you will find the basic object types, pages, desk, collections, and so on. Each type has a small central hub that you can access if you click on the type. Here, you will find all the objects under the specific type. Don't worry, you can create as many types as you want. Going back to the objects, it is made up of different types of blocks to organize your information. And the place where all these blocks live together called canvas. Its block-based editor works similarly to Notion or even WordPress. Using any types links and relations, you can connect your objects and create your own knowledge management center. And the best part is that any type will visualize these connections between your objects. So it gives you a quite solid picture of your data and how they relate to each other. It also offers collections and queries, which helps to structure and find the information you need in this center. I know guys, it sounds very complex. And honestly, it is. This is why I prepared a 15 minutes tutorial video on how to get started with any type. I will insert the link of this video in the description and I hope it will clear the mess up in your heads. Now, let's check the user interfaces of both note-taking apps. Notion has a minimalistic design. It is very clean and uncluttered. When working in Notion, you will quickly realize that it uses a block system that works like a Lego. It transforms all the content into movable, customizable pieces, which gives you the flexibility to move these blocks around. Just to be clear, when getting started with Notion, it has a learning curve. However, compared to any type, to learn Notion's functions, features and navigation is much easier. Any type offers a clean and modern user interface, which is quite minimalistic and aesthetic, often compared to Apple's design style. On the left side, you can access everything you need, from spaces, widgets, libraries and bins. The user interface is optimized for mobile users as well. Notion's free version is ideal for individuals and personal use. Most of the features I showcased you are included in the free plan, except the AI writing features. Free plan also allows you to publish a Notion page to the web. The plus plan was designed for small teams and professionals to collaborate. It supports the collaborative blocks, unlimited file uploads, charts, custom forms and sites, and you can integrate it with Slack, Google Drive and Gmail. It is $10 per user per month with the annual billing. If choosing the monthly billing, it is $12 monthly per user. If you need more advanced features and the AI tools as well, you probably need to go with the business plan. With this plan, you can access the premium integrations, Notion AI, private team spaces and more. The business plan is a bit pricey as it is $20 monthly with the yearly billing and $24 with the monthly billing. Lastly, Notion offers an enterprise plan for larger businesses. It has a custom pricing and it is ideal for those businesses which need advanced security features. Anytype's free plan is quite extensive and it is totally ideal for personal use. It includes 100 megabytes of network storage, unlimited local storage, P2P synchronization, three shared spaces, three editors per space, unlimited viewers per shared space, and offers up to 10 megabytes of web publishing. If you need a unique name for web publishing, more storage and editors, you can buy the builder plan for $8 monthly with the annual billing. If choosing the monthly billing, it will be $10 per month. Furthermore, any type offers a crow creator plan for $299 per three years. Essentially, 
you can access more storage space with this plan. Finally, Editype has a business plan with custom limits for the network workspace and the web publishing. If you are still here and found this video helpful so far, please give a thumbs up and subscribe and also check out my newsletter below with the top 6 productivity upside tried so far. Now, let me share 5 crucial differences between Notion and Anytype so you can decide easier which one is better for you. First, Anytype structures your data differently than most of the note-taking apps including Notion. So in Notion you have your pages, workspaces and you can create subpages, additional workspaces and so on. But Anytype works completely differently. Although Anytype has spaces like Notion, you structure the content based on object types mostly if you don't use the queries or collections. This one is quite obvious if you watch the video. Notion has a way shorter learning curve than Anytype. I think Anytype is one of the most powerful note-taking app currently, but it requires time and effort to learn its features even if you use Obsidian previously. So if you are a beginner with note-taking apps and let's say you are just switching from OneNote, I recommend Notion as any type probably will discourage you. The next one is about your goals. If you are looking for a tool that allows you to create a complex knowledge base where you want to connect all your data with each other and want to visualize it, any type is the better alternative for this. Unfortunately, Notion doesn't have these advanced note-taking capabilities that you are looking for. If security and privacy are top priorities for you, I believe Anytype is a better alternative. Anytype has end-to-end -end encryption, which means even the team of Anytype cannot read your data. On the other hand, Notion offers cloud storage, so all your notes are stored on Notion servers. And lastly, if you need an app, not just for yourself, but the whole team, Notion might be a better choice. Notion focuses on team collaboration and productivity rather than personal knowledge management. You can integrate Notion with numerous third-party apps, while Anytype doesn't provide integration options. In addition, you can implement Notion in more workflows, starting from project, task, calendar management to emailing. That was it for today, guys. If you have any questions about Notion or Anytype, feel free to ask in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Also, as mentioned, there is a full tutorial video about any type on how to get started fast. And I will put the link in the description so you can check out that video as well. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you later.